to welcome you to the Gathering Place Drummers and Singers. We're delighted that you are joining us this time of fellowship through song. We invite you to take your songbooks out, join in with us, sing along with us, or if you have an instrument, even if it's a little on the rusty side, play along with us. You'll see the names of the songs and the keys on your screen, so please join in and sing with us as we praise the Lord together. Let's begin now with Crown Him with Many Crowns. Christ told us to pray, Our Father who art in heaven. We call him Father, but do you think of yourself as a child of the King? With a Father that is rich in houses and lands and holds the wealth of the world in his hands, is this your security or is it your dwindling portfolio, your ravaged retirement, or your house that's about ready to be taken back by the bank? Do you really consider yourself a child of the King? You should. If we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, a child of the King.
all of eternity, you have only the time on this earth to praise God when times are bad. There never will be again the opportunity to praise God when you really don't feel like it. And there is nothing that grabs heaven's ear as much as the praise to God from one who is hurting, discouraged, broken, and feels like all heaven is in a concrete box out of your reach. This hymn is the hymn to be memorized and sung over and over during those times. Learn it now. Praise ye the Father. The hymn, Glorious Things of Thee Are Spoken, was written by John Newton, along with about 280 other hymns, including Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Name, and Safely Through Another Week. When you ruthlessly throw out all the stuff of life, what one thing will you hang on to? Newton's dying words were, my memory's nearly gone, but I remember two things, that I am a great sinner but that Jesus Christ is a great Savior. Glorious things of thee are spoken.
him live out thy life within me is a direct reference to the cloud or the Shekinah glory that was in the tabernacle and the temple. The abiding presence and power of Jehovah in the Shekinah is also an illustration of the abiding presence of Christ in the life of the believer. That is what the believers have, this opportunity to have Christ's abiding presence in your life. Live out thy life within me. Now that will make you a pretty decent fisher of men.
The hymn entitled Before Jehovah's Awful Throne is an Isaac Watts paraphrase of Psalm 100. Prior to Watts, music adhered quite strictly to the wording of the Old Testament. Thus, there are clumsy and awkward lines that make for difficult singing. Watts broke away from that tradition and actually paraphrased all of the Psalms. We have changed awful to awesome before Jehovah's awesome throne. beams of light of our Father's mercy to a lighthouse with the higher light shining far to welcome and warn distant ships about land and the lower lights to brighten the whole shoreline for those ships actually coming home. It is merciful to show the rocks to incoming ships. Why is it that we sometimes don't want to be shown those rocks so we can avoid danger? The call of this song is to let those lower lights be burning for those who do want to come home safely. Brightly beams our Father's mercy.
My Lord and I was written to unpack Matthew 11:29. Take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest to your souls. Mary Shorey divided this concept into the aspects of dwelling, walking, talking, and working with the Lord, my Lord and I. together with our Lord, but we work together with you. We thank you for your viewership. We thank you for your prayers and for your contributions to LLBN Broadcasting Network as we reach out to the world. Thank you so much for joining us and sing along with us this same time next week.